YouTube, it's Tom. I'm back with another one for you. And this one here is a little document that I was just running through now. Um, I get bored and I just read and shit. But, um, you know, I tend to gravitate toward empowering information and shit like that. I don't focus on a lot of the problems so much as I focus on the solutions. But obviously you have to hear a little bit of the problem in order to realize that you need a fucking solution, right? Because otherwise you wouldn't know. So, anyway, this one here is called uh, Elodio Title via Lamp Patents. If anybody wants this document, it's a fucking big ass document. I'm, I'm just scratching the surface of it now. Um, send me an email and I'll shoot it over to you, right? So, what this says here is Elodio Title via Lamp Patents. How to do it, Primer by Joe Stevens, uh, Surrey Jury, Every Man's House is His Castle, Common Law Copyright 1995 American Sovereign Groups, I'm just using this as a sample here, educational purposes, right, uh, entertainment value, All Rights Reserved Without Prejudice, UCC 1-207, which is now UCC 1-308, UCC 1-103.6, if the American people ever allow the banks to control the issuance of their currency, First by inflation, then by deflations, the banks and corporations that will grow up around them will deprive the people of all their property until their children will wake up homeless on the continent their fathers occupied. Now, how do you like that? How do you like knowing that your kids are going to fucking be homeless one day when they have birthrights to all this fucking land? How does that make you feel? All right. All because you decided to do nothing. Because you decided to do nothing and hoping that somebody else did it for you. Huh? How's that feel? So right here. Preface. Permits and permission. 21 years ago I rebelled. I believed that I was a free American with all the rights that go with the title. In reality that was not the case. For every time I turned around I found that what I wanted to, what I wanted to do required permission from the person or that or that uh bureaucrat there was a fee for this a permit for that and i would hear no you can't do that it's against the code it seemed that if you wanted to do something it was regulated and saying no was predominant later i learned that it was much easier for an official to say no than say yes because yes exposed him to risk whereas no very rarely if ever had any repercussions I got totally fed up with the system. Everything seemed harder to get done and required too much time, frustration, and money. Most of it all required permission from someone who I felt had no business telling me what to do. I was an adult, but I still felt like the, power, like the powerlessness of a child. My life was not my own. It belonged to someone else, and I was just going through the motions. Those motions were about nothing. I resigned my position at the local community college and entered the field of private enterprise hoping to make a ton of money. I did not have a plan but working in the private sector paid much more than teaching did back then. Income tax. Still, that paycheck seems small. And you know what it is. They fucking take more of that. <laughs> I mean, I haven't paid fucking taxes since I fucking ever started working, for one. Because I know how, cause I know how to do math, for one. So they were never going to fuck me like that. And, uh, and I certainly am not fucking... <laughs> I'm certainly not paying that shit now. So, uh... Anyway, back to this. So, still the paycheck seems small after the deductions. I figured that if I quit paying income tax, I could get in business much faster. And I had heard that the income tax was voluntary. It sure is. So, I quit. Not, um, not, a, not a good idea. Very shortly, I had IRS knocking on my door. I think someone snitched on me. And soon it was beginning to look like I would have a federally funded vacation across in a, in a cross bar hotel. Fortunately, I had met a very good tax attorney in my community college days, and he assured me that he could take care of my IRS problem. He did. He told me he told me never file a 1040 again. And for many years, I I'm just writing down the time here so I can switch these slides, try to make it a graceful fucking transition. So it says, uh, so I just did as he instructed and i forgot one very important item however i did not ask him why i should never file again so i was left with the feeling that uh that he had fixed it somehow i lost contact with him and the years passed the negative programming from our control media wore away at me until one day i began to experience fears my neighbors paid and paid and paid and paid and paid some more 
I began to believe that the establishment was indeed the superior and I was the servant. I even started thinking about filing income tax forms again. I remember... I remarried after 15 years and I did not know how to convince my new wife that not paying taxes, not paying uh, income taxes was all right. I was between a rock and a hard spot. Disarmament. About this time, the powers that be started a blatant gun grab and people started walking up all over the place. Since I, since I was a veteran of 11 years as an officer of the law prior to my rebellion, I had seen many instances that that gun was the only thing that stood between the citizens and the uh, disaster. This really started me to ask questions. Why on earth would they want to disarm honest law-abiding citizens? The crook are the ones needing to be disarmed and we have a lot of laws on the books that do that. I know because I deprived several of them of their constitutionally guaranteed right to keep and bear arms. This was before I knew about the color of law. Anyway, it seemed one of the most stupid things that a government wanting, wanting peace and stability could do. That raised the question, do people in control really want peace and stability? During this time, the majority of the folks utilizing my business were expressing extreme dissatisfaction with the government and the programs of today. One lady who reminded me of the grandmother stood up in the middle of my auto glass shop and told me flat out, if they, the government, don't quit taking our rights away, they're going to have a war in their hands. I was flabbergasted because this woman and her husband both worked for the government. <laughs> I was flabbergasted because this woman and her husband both worked for the government. Shortly thereafter, I received a phone call that would change my life and lifestyle forever so that's just a little glimpse into some of the shit that um and i'm and i'm probably going to be writing a book too because i have a lot of cures and shit like that that i've been finding through uh gematria i've been fucking decoding the matrix for like almost almost a year now at this point i found all types of shit in gematria that's the answer you guys want the truth learn fucking gematria so i'm gonna put it all out there for everybody at some point i just need to get comfortable financially stable like really stable be able to fucking kick back maybe get a couple people to give me a hand and shit and put this shit together uh because i do want to smoke look like if if, if i gotta have problems because i'm trying to help people and put out the fucking truth then guess what we're gonna fucking have problems i'm all for it you know what i'm saying Cause because i know i'm doing the fucking right thing so what the fuck we're gonna have to get that so this is a little glimpse into what i was just reading i thought it was really interesting uh, it goes into the process, I believe, as you get further down into the documentation about uh, how to go about um, doing the land patent and getting your property off the tax roll and shit like that, right? So, you know, I really do this shit. This is not something that I'm just talking about reading hypothetically or none of that. I really fucking do this. I'm really about that fucking life. And it's really that simple. So, you know, I shut off the comments because I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not in a position... Um, to deal with anybody's fucking retarded, stupid ass comments or none of that dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Because this shit is 100% facts. It's real. It's the law. I'm reading it. Word for word out of the fucking legal dictionaries, codes, statutes, whatever. You know what I'm saying? None of this shit is my personal opinion. Even though I throw a lot of it out there. But you can tell the difference, right? So uh, that's what I got for you for now. Really interesting stuff here. Uh, until we meet again.